in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our good night message on this Saturday, the 6th of January 2024, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this encouraging and inspiring message in the series New Year Resolutions, Day 5. Deliver. Your presence, Lord. We have come to the end of the series that we have been having since Tuesday. And I know when you have time, you will go back and listen to most of these good night messages so that you have something to guide you. Make the best out of this year, 2024. And we have been looking at various aspects, especially those connected to our own health, how we can take care of ourselves and make sure that we can account for everything that concerns us. Now I come to you. How to take care of your inner self. Many people may be looking at you from outside and think that everything is going on well. But you have conflict within. You are suffering from low self-esteem. And you have not shared this with other people because you think they will laugh at you. Now I want to encourage you to do one exercise once a week or once a month in this year. Learn to write to yourself. When your inner critic picks up her bullhorn, jot down the kind words you would say to a friend in the same situation. We have such a hard time channeling compassion for ourselves. We want to be rough to ourselves. When we do something wrong, we want to say all sorts of terrible things against ourselves. Why am I so bad? What's wrong with me? Why am I thinking like this? Be kind to yourself. There is no way you are going to be kind to others if you don't learn to be kind to yourself. Write something nice about yourself. Write to yourself. Keep a special journal in which you just say sweet nothings to yourself. Secondly, do one thing at a time. Mouth tasking doesn't make you more efficient, but it does stress you out. If your focus is fragmented, you will likely find yourself getting anxious as new items come up when old ones are still incomplete. Instead, organize your activities into chunks of time, such as kid time, and cooking time and then commit to being focused in those allotted minutes and see what happens. It will help stop you from overthinking everything. Three, make your bed every morning. Yes, it's time to grow past the messy bed look. Mastering the art of making your bed will simply transform your space, but also kickstart a productive morning routine. Taking care of your pillows, sheets, and comforter is easy when you have an expert to show you how. But you know what? 
when you make your bed. There is a nice feeling within you. When you get back to that bedroom, you will feel fulfilled. You will have a feeling of success that you did something at least. And that increases a sense of worth in yourself as well. Before concluding this good night message, I would like to thank all of you for all the messages that you sent to me on WhatsApp, on YouTube, on TikTok, on on all the other social media platforms, on Facebook, and the personal messages that you all sent to me as I turned 53 today. May you continue praying for me that everything may go on well according to his holy will and that God may give me enough strength to continue doing his will. God bless you all abundantly. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. My past. My past. It's over. It's over. Say right.